MovieWeb.com. When you were when you were filming and you had to really concentrate with the, with the eye movements, did you find that difficult? How do you research and prepare for that role? I um, met John Doe's friends. They gave me very intimate thing, things that they told me about him. And there was a film that Jean-Jacques Benex had done, a sort of little documentary, 26 minutes, that he had done of Jean Doe working with Claude Mandibille, the woman that took the, the, you know, when he was writing the book. And you know why he did that? He didn't want it to be somebody coming to shoot him, to, to, to make a film. It's because in Paris, nobody believed that it was true that he was writing a book. Everybody thought that he had a, a ghostwriter. And he said, OK, I'm going to prove that it's true. So somebody came. It was Jean-Jacques Benex. And you see him work. So those 26 minutes helped me a lot, because you see him. You see how it works. You see how it goes quick. In fact, in real life, he didn't even blink anymore. He just uh, did something, um, you know, the eye just went up like that. And, she, and Claude and him, I, I hope that's what we managed to do with uh, Anne Consigny. After a moment, they, he, she guesses what he will say. So he, he wrote the thing in two months only. It's incredible. And uh, then was the film with friends helping, uh, and we shot in the real hospital, the real hospital where, where it really happened. So some of the people of the medical crew were there 10 years before and took care of Jean Doe. And they were my guide, really. They would tell me precisely how I could put my, he would put his hand. It's stupid, but you know, I said, but what, what, what does he, did he do with his thumb? Where was the thumb? So they tried to remember and, you know, so you work on the, the hand and then uh, you try to, to be believable. And my, uh, the mirror, that would tell me if I was like, uh, I was beautiful, like <laughs> I was the most Jean Doe in the world, uh, was all the nurses that were there. And sometimes I would ask somebody to just drive me in outside in the corridor with other accidental people that had other accidents and wheelchairs and just to see if uh, they would forget me and sometimes yeah and they would take me for for another a sick person you know were you surprised when you saw the finished product just how visually interesting the film was what was in the script and that I don't know if you met Ronald yet but he will tell you he started to write something and he almost want, stopped. He wanted to give the money back. He couldn't find it the way to do it. And what, ho what just opened his mind is when he had this idea, and what about if the camera was Jean Doe? The, to be in his head. That was in the script. The inner thoughts were in the script. Then Julian works a certain way. He shoots without any rehearsing. Uh, he breaks professional habits. He tells you, uh, for the inner thoughts, tell whatever you have in mind. Uh, so I, I would sort of continue Ronald's work, you know, for the lines and all that, and try to respect the sense of humor that Julian and I and the other actors felt in his book. And try not to be a saint, you know, but just a man who uh, was continuing to seduce women even from his bed and <laughs> looking at the legs and the tits. And I was thinking very dirty stuff. 
in fact, when you are, you see even the picture, I mean, you see, you, you see this woman with, you know, when she plays, when Olat plays with the tongue and all that. <laughs> so we had some moment, it was very difficult not to laugh or so. And so I tried to laugh inside, like he was. And the, so the visual stuff, the visual stuff is because Julian is a painter and that Janusz Kaminski is an artist. And those two guys together, with Berthaud, who was the cameraman, who was sometimes, he was me. And uh, for, for instance, the moment you see his feet and thing, it's not my feet, it's his feet. I have much more beautiful feet than that. And uh, he, it was, everything was done on the set. I mean, no digital effects afterwards. They had this wonderful uh, lens called uh, Swing and Tilt that would do the, the focus thing. And it was also, for instance, the cameraman had, could hear my thoughts. He was the only one that could hear my thoughts with a, like that. And he would react at what I was saying, you know? So he said, get bored, I, I want to get out of here. He would go to the, to the window, you know, he would pan, things like that.